flags quickly up. Be seen called in. Runners is about to be called up. And they're off. Racing for the Glen Farkless Crystal Cup Cross Country a Handicap Steeplechase. Three and three parts of a mile and 32 obstacles to negotiate. And they're all safely over the opening bank with their hedge. And it's Fox Pro who shows narrowly in front as they head off towards the second fence, the ditch and unrailed hedge. Leading from on the outside, back on the lash. More towards the inside is Potter's Corner. As they take fence number two, they are all safely over. The leading trio, followed by singing banjo in yellow and red silks there, Barry Walsh. And then the grey close up in behind Diesel Dallier over the Birch Island, the veteran Ballyboker Bridge. Jumped that one in about sixth position. Looked to be a mistake at the back of the field there from Blast of Cumin under JJ Slevin. So they've got over the first few fences, heading up to the entry fence now before that sharp left-hander, Fox Pro, leading from Potter's Corner, back on the lash and singing banjo. And Bally Boca Bridge at the entry obstacle now, singing banjo next. They've all safely got to the other side. Alpha Desobo was pushed along on the landing side. Mr. Diablo also towards the back of the field. Now the bank with a hedge, Fox Pro leading from Potter's Corner, back on the lash. And then Diesel Dallier singing banjo, Bally Boca Bridge and Super Citizen. Then Mortal racing in midfield with Plan of Attack and Call It Magic. And then Midnight Maestro gets the first mention going over the Glen Farkless Barrels, at which we've had a faller at the back of the field there. Looks like a Blast of Cumin has got rid of JJ Slevin. So Blast of Cumin is out of the race over the Glen Farkless Barrels as the rest of the field negotiated fence number eight with Little Incident. And now begin to head towards the timber rails, number nine. Fox Pro, Potter's Corner, singing banjo back on the lash and Bally Broker Bridge. Now the leaders over the timber rails, then Diesel Dallier and Super Citizen as they begin to turn now towards the railed hedge, fence number 10. Fox Pro, Chester Williams in the orange, leading from Potter's Corner, back on the lash and singing banjo. And then Super Citizen and Bally Boker Bridge and Diesel Dalio Immortal, Alpha de Zobo and Mr. Diablo. Then Call It Magic and Midnight Maestro. Plan of Attack is still towards the back of the field in these very early stages. They begin to swing back more towards the centre of the track now. And it's Fox Pro. He's out in front, leads by a couple of lengths over the next hedge. Watch him all safely get over that one, OK. Balco de Flow remains at the back of the field with Plan of Attack over that fence as they continue to work back towards the middle of the race course on this first circuit. Fox Pro, over clear by three lengths. To Potter's Corner, back on the lash, singing Banjo de Zodalier. And Super Citizen and Bally Boca Bridge from Alfie de Zobo. And Mortal still in midfield, with then Call It Magic and Mr. Diablo in behind those as they go out and over the bank in the centre of the race course. And they've all got to the other side, a little bit stuttery on the landing side, though. Balcado flow as they went over fence 13. Now head across the water jump for the first of a couple of occasions in the cross country. Fox Pro then will lead them back towards the stands and towards the cheese wedges, fences 15 and 16. Fox Pro from Potter's Corner, back on the lash and singing banjo from Diesel Dallier, Bella Boca Bridge and Super Citizen. Then Alfie de Sobo and Call It Magic, ahead of Midnight Maestro, up and over the cheese wedges. All seem to have negotiated those OK. And now they race out for their second circuit of the cross-country course. Ditch and Railed Hedge will be number 17, Fox Pro, leading. From in second, Potter's Corner, three lengths away, to back on the lash and singing banjo. Diesel Dallier is next in fifth. And then Bally Boca Bridge is in sixth position from Alfie de Zobo. Getting over this next one then, fence number 17. All safely over. Midnight Maestro is just about last of all at this stage. Not sure whether he's taken to it or not yet over this cross-country course at Cheltenham. He's way back at the moment. Fox Pro together still with Potter's Corner, the leading pair from Singing Banjo, Bally Boca Bridge, as they go up and over the bank in the centre of the course once again. And Fox Pro led them over. Next one will be number 19. It's a double bank and hedge. Fox Pro from Potter's Corner, Singing Banjo. Then Bally Boca Bridge, the 14 years young Bally Boca Bridge, who was third in this six years ago. Back on the lash, the November winner at the cross country chase is racing back in fifth over this next one. 
Diesel Dallier's behind him, then Super Citizen and Call It Magic. He's got a little bit closer now. The ditch and boarded hedge coming up but soon as they begin to race to this next one. Fox Pro, Potter's Corner still the leading two. From Singing Banjo and Ballyboca Bridge, then Diesel Dallier and back on the lash. Midnight Maestro hit that one very, very hard at the back of the field. Banco de Flo's made a little headway. Mr. Yabio is still some way back through them as now Potter's Corner just about puts his head in front for the first time. Potter's Corner, Fox Pro still right there, then Singing Banjo. Midnight Maestro pecked again on landing at the back. Plan of attack also still out the rack there with Mr. Diablo. Potter's Corner, Fox Pro, Singing Banjo are the leading three. Bally Boca Bridge is next in fourth. Then back on the lash and Diesel Dallier from Call It Magic. Super Citizen, Alpha de Zobo, Mortal Plan of Attack, Balco de Flo, Mr. Diablo, and then Midnight Maestro to the water jump for the second and final time. It's fence number 22. And coming out of the water there, it was Potter's Corner who still led from Fox Pro, two lengths away to Singing Banjo. Then back on the lash, followed closely by Ballyboca Bridge. Just a double spread hedge. It's fence number 23 before they begin their final circuit. Potter's Corner led them over to 23rd. From Fox Pro, who landed in second and singing banjo in third and back on the lash in fourth. And then Ballyboca Bridge as they come to take fence number 24. The bank with a hedge once again. Potter's Corner traveling well out in front now by two lengths to Fox Pro in second as they race to the 25th. The ditch and railed hedge. Diesel Dallier singing banjo, Ballyboca Bridge still chances in behind her plenty Super Citizen, Mortal Plan of Attack getting closer with Diesel Dallier singing banjo, made a mistake going out over that fence and now they go towards the Birch Island this is fence number 26 and it's Potter's Corner in front of the Birch Island from Fox Pro back on the lash, over toward the left hand side of the fence, jumped up into third there from singing banjo, Diesel Dallier, Super Citizen and Ballyboca Bridge, then Mortal Alfie and call it magic. They go towards the entry fence. This will be six out. It's fence number 27. They're about to take the left-hand corner then. Singing Banjo driven up to the inside of Potter's Corner. Alfa Dezobo is unseated rider at the back of the field. Potter's Corner leads them now to fence 28. The bank with a hedge. Potter's Corner from Fox Pro. Singing Banjo's over next in third. Fence 29, the double bank. And Potter's Corner landed running. He's in front by a good two to three lengths of Fox Pro. Diesel Delier back on the lash and then plan of attack over the Glen Farkless barrels and now they begin to head back towards the race course proper with two stuffed hurdles in front of them and out in front it's Potter's Corner under Jack Tudor from Diesel Delier racing in second the grey plan of attack in the blue and green getting closer Mortal is coming right into it as well blue with the striped sleeves and cap they raced over to second from home and now begin to head towards the final hurdle the 32nd and last and with the lead Potter's Corner shows by two lengths to Mortal in second, the great Diesel Dallier is next in third, then plan of attack, they've got away from back on the lash and Fox Pro, at the last now, Potter's Corner, led narrowly there, from Diesel Dallier Mortal and plan of attack, with a furlong to go, Potter's Corner is digging very deep, he leads by a length and a half to Diesel Dallier the grey is rallying strongly in the final half a furlong, Potter's Corner from Diesel Dallier, Diesel Dallier beginning to get up Diesel Dallier and Potter's Corner, it's tight between them. Diesel Dallier and Potter's Corner in a photo finish in the cross country. Plan of attack in third, then Mortal. Fox Pro singing banjo back on the lash. Bally Boca Bridge, then Balcado Flow. Super Citizen, call it magic. Midnight Maestro, Mr. Diablo. Photo finish has been called. First look at it, I thought Diesel Dalia has got there, but it's actually head up, head down at the line. And so I'm going to wait on the judge and the photo finish has been called. But whatever, it's been a fantastic finish to the cross country chase between Potter's Corner, who looked all over the winner as they turned for home for Jack Tudor and Christian Williams, might still be. He's second for having that match. Yeah, I, I mean, I, crossing the line, I felt it was Diesel Dalia um, for Harry Bannister and Richard Bandy back in third is plan of attack around a very similar race to last time not really getting into it in the early stages and then sticking on late for Darrow O'Keefe and Henry de Bromhead and Mortal was fourth for Jodie McGarvey and Gordon Elliott we will wait on the judge for that he could have been a rerun for 95% of that race the same horses plan of attack doing the same thing as he'd done on his first experience of the course I mean the, the ability is still there and the, and the commitment and the willingness is still there because he's He's got into a challenging position somehow after the early yeah. dramas. 
Yes, first, number nine. These Diesel Dallier has Dan. got there. Harry Bannister for Richard Second Bandy. Beating Potter's eight. Corner. Heartbreaking Third for Chrissy Williams and team. Eight. And Jack Tudor back in third was Plan of Attack and fourth, Mortal. Diesel Dallier returned at six to one. Let's take the closing stages, shall we, of this uh, particular event. It was good to watch this. It was. It was exciting. And it was... They were several in with a chance in the home turn. I, I want to get the tally out and decide whether it's the same eight, because I think it may well be. It's certainly seven of them that are involved in the finish, having filled the first eight positions last time. Potter's Corner is just clearly building up to something a bit better. Maybe that's with the Welsh National, another crack at that on the horizon. Always has gone well around here. That made his last run slightly more surprising, but he's run really well. He's tried hard, but just been nabbed by a, another course regular around this place. OK, so Unibet are giving us anti-post prices with the cross-country at the festival. Potter's Quarter, 20s and 33s. Diesel Dahlia, 16s and 25s. You, you tempted? Uh, no, it's just not a race I tend to consider at this point. I tend to look no, at the 48 hours stage. Uh, it, it, it must be one of the first times I've ever been handed <laughs> a cross-country chase. Four-miler at Hexham's the next one. <laughs> <laughs>